<laughs> okay, here's where we are. Um, I'm selecting the parts for the final assembly. I've got the uh, puff and chuff and the soundboard figured out. I've got a one buck boost board, which will provide five volts to this guy, regardless of what the transformer is set at. And I put a buck board here. This just keeps everything down low. Um, it doesn't boost any. That creates problems with the logic sometimes. Um, I've got two rectifiers. What I've got is two power distribution centers. We're going to consolidate this. It's going to be cleaner. But the trick, trick was to split the rectifiers so that we got less noise. I've been studying this uh, all morning, and uh, I've got it down to about as good as I can by splitting these two rectifiers and adding a capacitor right there. Not a big one. I think it's about a 4.7 microfarad, um, but it's also a 25 volt capacity. I put a, a 10 volt in there and it got a little warm on me. That's when I realized I was up to 15 volts. So uh, yeah, okay, I'll take care of that. Uh, we got our new board in up here, the new control board, and I've got a headlight lens just sitting there waiting, and we got our smoke puffing and chuffing like it's supposed to. So we jack this up, and it starts taking off, and you can see as the voltage increases, we get more smoke, which is what you want, and the puff and chuff sort of outruns itself. And now I'm going to come to a stop, and then we go to neutral, right? And then we shut it down. Then we go to reverse. And with reverse, if you'll notice, we have a different light bulb on. In reverse, this is going to be the backup light that will shine out the back. And the headlight is off. So if your track, train's on the track, you're not sure where you are, you're going to be in whichever light comes on tells you that's the direction you're going. And um, it's running... It's running quite well, actually. And I'm gonna try, oh boy, one-handed. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Especially, the hand I'm using is not my better hand. But let's see, here we go. That's the steam whistle. And we'll put it, we'll put that on our little reed switch and have a magnet do that when we get going. And we do have our backup bells that ring uh, which I'll try to I, I, I'm not there yet I got to work on that getting the this light to turn on the bells there is a way okay I just haven't I had the part and I laid it down and I think my wife cleaned up that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it okay <laughs> but this is where it's at and these are final parts more or less uh, and what this tells me is the packaging now I'm gonna cut this height down a little bit I have room to cut the height down uh, so I'm going to do that. This board's going to be thinner. I'm going to use this board. i got a new chip and all that. So this will be the same exact layout and everything. I'm going to document what I've done here, send that to Andy for his review and blessing and all that crap, and then I'll start. Now this is going to have to be somewhat of a kludge. We're going to be adding this piece, these two pieces together, but I'm going to try to make them... Uh, I'm going to do some direct mounting. I'm going to get rid of these uh, connectors, except for, well, maybe I'll keep them all. I don't know. Anyway, I'll get rid of some of the connectors, and so that's thinner, and they can go back to back or front to front or something like that, and stuff them in there somehow. You know, we had the idea where we lay them flat. That may be the best way to go is lay them flat. Okay, so two rectifiers gets rid of the noise. This uh, gets rid of a little bit more noise, and then splitting these two, uh, he is running off of the main drive rectifier, and the, this guy's running off of a separate standalone rectifier. So he gets a nice clean five volts buck and boosted. He gets uh, five volts buck only, and he's sharing with the motor, and he doesn't really care so much. He's clipping, he's not taking amps, so it seems to work out well. We still have smoke. And I did crank it down a little bit, so maybe I went a little too low. That's another beauty of this thing. Crank it up a quarter turn, and you get a, you can see more smoke coming in already. Got a little leak over here, so that'll make the smoke more plentiful. And when you slow down, you get your puff. There's the puff. Come on, baby. Don't die on me now.
There we go. I'm not sure. I think it's the wiring is a little uh, loose too. Some of these plugins are iffy, uh, but boy, that that's a pretty straight. If I showed you the original sign up here, this thing was like this, zigzagging two boxes down and two boxes up. Just and I'm wondering. Oh, no wonder I got all that racket going on there. Yeah. But as you can see now, it's pretty doggone flat. So that's pretty good. Pretty good for us. Not too shabby. We'll take it. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it. So here we are. Coming out. Oh, we're in reverse. We don't be in reverse. We don't be in forward. Got to get that extra second. Okay, now we're in first. We're coming out. We're chuffing. Barely chuffing. Heavy load. Heavy load. Coming up. Getting up to speed. Slowly getting up to speed. Pretend you hear a whistle. We're coming down the track. Now we're cooking... 60, 70, 80. Look at that. The chuff is just a scream about now. We start coming into the sighting. Small whistle stop. Anybody out there? All right, let's get the mail. Get the mail out. All right, get the mail back in. Neutral. Fill up some more. Put some water in a tank. All right, wait. We got to back up. We got to pick up another car. We're in backup mode. See that light? Backing up a little bit. Bell's ringing. Okay. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Let's, we got hitched up. We're ready to go. We're heading out. We're heading out. Don't fuss with me now. We're doing a show here. Come on. You rascal. You rascal. I must have a loose wire. Damn it. Okay. We'll get there. It's a runner. It's a runner. We know it. There we go. You get the air energy up a little higher, then a loose wire will make contact. It'll burn through the ozone or something like that. I don't know. So anyway, that's the show. Headlight, tail light, uh, puff and chuff, synchronized um, steam whistle and uh, bells in reverse someday. And lot, no noise, nice clean sound. And... Um, and all I have to do is take one, two, three, four, five parts and stick them in here. Those five parts. And then hardwire the lights. Oh, and I got, oh, I don't have it with me, but I did get my fire light for the, um, for the um, firebox that goes there. So I can put firebox lights in. It'd be nice. And I don't know if I can get to it today. My wife wants me to work on the layout more get that put together but I'm gonna start building this I got to change my bracket I got to come up with a better way of arranging these uh, I'm gonna probably have to print a new one of this this adapter here because this is for the old this framework is for the old board which is taller so I'm gonna pull it back that gives me more space here to put two of these in I'm gonna maybe put one flat one up something like that and keep it simple the, the vertical one will not have any of the hooks it'll just be hardwired in a vertical one maybe have those up front so you can unhook it it's only gonna have two connections well four if you do that oh yeah and then all the track is gonna have to go into one and then share so that's gonna cause a little extension in the wiring for the uh, track pickup I want the all-wheel pickup on this particular model here so that'll work out and then and then I think we're ready oh I got one last thing I need to check Leon doesn't get the gear he gets a cam that bolts onto the factory gear so I have to get a chassis for the factory gear oh gosh There's one. There's a chassis with a factory gear. I'm gonna take the smoke off temporarily. Put that, put that cam on here. Bring my uh, switch over, adapt it, set it up, get this uh, trigger working, and then that'll be the trigger he gets. He doesn't have the smoke, but he's got the gear. And if you have a gear, you might as well try to use it. It is hard. It's somewhat difficult to get it out and back in the right way. This was a job. This was very customized, what I did here. Uh, with the new ball, new gear and the new screw and everything. But I 
came out nice, but it took a long time. So I can't afford to do that for everybody. And, and other people won't have the skill set. So we're going to try to use the... I've done this before. I've had the cam on here, and it works fine. And, uh, and we'll get rid of the old smoke. Or I can use it on other engines that will have... You, because you can do everything you have here. You can do this with the vintage fire smoke. That, you know, you could still have that so that's another option we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along but I'm down now I'm down because here's that engine I got a couple more back here here you can see one that I started um, I can now uh, get him back out that's a k5 oh here there's one right there that's the one I'm gonna use that's great oh look at that he's even got the, the DC field from uh, Jim Shea, there it is. That's the one. That's got to be a K5, I bet you. So we're going to put the uh, the uh, cam on that here and test with that engine um, the trigger. So I'm going to have, this is a trigger, that's a trigger, and that's a trigger. So i got three styles of trigger. And they all work. They all do the same thing. They just send a pulse into the computer that says, now, 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 now. And that fires the uh, puff and chuff synchronization. One signal goes in for the smoke. Uh, one signal goes in for the fan. Another signal goes in for the sound. So we're cooking. Now I've been running this, so it's probably low on smoke now. Uh, my wife complained already. Uh, she could smell whatever I was doing upstairs. I think she gets jealous because I have one that's baking bread. And that, that really smells good. Okay, we're we're there now. This is all carnage. Don't worry about it. Carnage, carnage, carnage. This will get tidied up as we go along. Every couple of days you'll see something happening and it looks neater and more packaged. Um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Oh, look at that light got brighter, didn't it? It likes that power. It's like that 17 AC volts coming in, baby. Oh yeah, do me. I wonder, I could run that off track power. Oh, but I won't get the, uh, yeah, that's right. I won't get the switcheroo thing. Okay, there we are, folks. Another great morning. Cutting in a baling, as we used to say on the farm. Oh boy, you just can't give up. You, you got to just take a back, take a day off, you know, think about it, and then come up with some other, other ideas, and then come back at it. And there's usually some answers. Here we were. There are three things. We separated the buck boost. We got extra rectifier, and I put in a uh, small cap. And the noise is pretty clean right now. So, all right, gang, that's it for now. I gotta go. She wants to do other things. I think we're going to have lunch, and then we're going to start working on the tables some more. Not going to cut that Christmas down today, but I'm going to be rearranging the tables and trying to get them all bolted together so that we can clean it, put down the um, covering, and then start laying some track. Ooh, I love laying track. I really, really do. That's going to be fun, especially if I have some nice, bright, new... Magna Rosa motor engines to test on it. That'll be fun. Okay, gang. Later. Oh, one one last one last good friend of mine, Jeff at Train Tender, sent me this Lionel. No, I'm not building a Lionel, but you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna widen that baby out so that. Lionel boys can have rolling road too. That ought to be that ought to be nice, huh? Okay. Now I'm done. Talk at you later. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll have social more stuff. Okay. That's it. Later.